What is up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian slash Holy Roman Empire playthrough. And uh, guys, I've been thinking in between episodes and this really takes some courage and some balls guys. Here's the situation. We don't overly depend on our absolutism any longer. Uh, this is something that has occurred to me. Uh, our age, our, imper our golden era is about to end in two years time. Nope, four years time. That's fine. God, this is a really hard one, guys. This is, I'm really finding this difficult. Uh, I'm going to be doing some royal marriages here, guys. We don't have very much overextension. We have a Diplo Rep uh, advisor, and yet Yi has Liberty Desire. I'm going to resolve that. I'm beginning to really stress about making sure that all of our subjects are happy here and ready to be integrated. I noticed that this nation could be influenced, which I hadn't done yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Down to 19k, that's not much. Uh, so that I can begin integrating them as soon as possible. Now, guys, I, I another really hard decision. See how... Oh, our absolutism didn't drop. The hell? Well, I'm not going to push my luck in and reduce my legitimacy even more. But I thought that, that losing 5 would affect this by 1. Okay, that was a good call. Let's make sure to do a little bit more of that. Uh... This really takes some courage and some balls here, guys, because I'm worried that we're not going to get the one faith like I have said many times. And the best way to close the gap is going to be to release yet another subject. So in between episodes, I went ahead and I looked at uh, what I think is the best option. And I, it's got the same name as this province here, if I can find it. Here. Here. So he's going to be three provinces, but each province is fairly low development. Any other option I looked at, even if they are less uh, provinces, it's much higher development, i.e. higher integration cost. I'm going to go ahead and uh, release this subject here. And uh, here's the moment of truth. Now, Mongolia already proved that um, he will, a nation will convert at this stage, even if they don't have religious ideas. But um, I definitely think development is a huge issue. I don't want to give them highly developed provinces if they do not have religious. But here's the moment of truth. Let's check their ideas. Religious ideas. Fantastic. Excellent. Very good. So this guy, we're going to go ahead and enforce religion. And now that is three more provinces that will be self-autonomously converted. But of course, now the reason I'm not stressing so much about absolutism Number one is we can afford to lose five, right? Which will disappear anyway. But number two, um, well, related, but not exactly the same subject, guys. Uh, if we give this to, like, the northern area to this nation and the southern area to this nation, there's very little that we're going to actually core ourselves, guys. I'm giving this to Yi. Uh, so I think literally we're going to call this and uh, for that reason although i could call this if i felt like um, malacca was struggling but the idea is to have him convert it for me i think our admin is going to go primarily towards truce breaking now and uh i'm having a hard decision guys i really want this deploy annexation cost even if we were an uh annexing like three guys via diplomacy and we took that 20%, it would, it has a delayed effect as well. Does that make sense? It would further them along by 20%. In order to get this though, I need to complete administrative ideas. That's going to be 800, 1600, 2k. There's going to be 2k admin. Um, I could probably get that before the end of the game in order for it to impact us. And like I said, if we were integrating like three guys and they were up to 80%, boom, it could finish it off. So that's something I'm taking into consideration. The other thing is we could 
uh, stop focusing admin at this point? Or alternatively, instead of just stopping, we could focus Diplo. Uh, and I could take this policy for Diplo reputation. That's going to help the rate that we integrate. I could also spend military points if I, at least I thought so. Uh -huh, there it is, Diplo reputation. So both of those, it looks like we only have two more policy op options. At the moment, I'm considering taking these just for integration speed and focusing Diplo ideas um, while we just utilize our admin to actually stabilize our country. So I've put a, a lot of thought into this, guys, and it's, it's pretty stressful. Let's go ahead and get this game started, though. I'm going to stop talking. Um... It's hard. It's I'm really finding it difficult. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, we've got two years before we can attack Bachmanis. So uh, here, there's no real going back, guys. There we go. 12 Diplo a month. Now, the funny thing is that, um, yeah, I might Royal Marriage him, actually, in order to begin spending our Diplo points. Uh, some of these, he cannot convert because of this modifier. And uh, yeah... What can I say? I'm going to begin integrating him anyway because I am beginning to stress. I'm really beginning to stress that... There we go. Our absolutism dropped there. That's, that's all right. Two absolutism is okay. So let's get this started. I, guys, I'm really doing my best. It is really stressful. Uh, I'm not like some kind of freaky autistic mathematician uh, who, can act who actually knows the most optimal route. Nice. Both of these are good. Very nice. I might take that one, actually. I don't think that 20 Diplo is going to make much of a difference. Now, these ones act on colonies. You can steal. I, I don't care about that anymore. I'm going to focus on these subjects to make sure we're, we're good and uh, ready to be integrated. Yeah, so how does Altruce look with me? Seven years. Uh, I think... We're about to do the truce break arena with Megan, guys. I think we should get back to war, eh? Who needs to be chilling like this when you could be warring? So again, I just want to reiterate that that was not an easy dis uh, decision, and uh, I hope I don't regret doing that. Uh, I plan to feed. I plan. I plan, with the exception of Ming, to not expand. Basically, that's what I'm trying to do: is not expand. I'm going to be sending these. Um, missionaries uh, just to the most fast and efficient provinces to be converted at this rate as most of the rebels are kind of isolated to uh, where our troops are anyway we've got an abundance of troops it doesn't really matter and uh, yeah I'm gonna try I say as I uh, spend a lot of time just ranting and raving but I'm gonna try to uh, really move this game along here guys there's, there's really not all that much more we can do so We're going to do the truce break here. Uh, that's extremely cheap. To boost one stability. Um, 120. Yep. We, d we really don't have much else to spend admin on. It's going to be interesting to see how much this costs. I think we're going to be alright. So let's try to make this war uh, very fast. I have no idea where his capital is. Let's check that really quickly. It's right there. Here, okay. Okay, we've got a Siege 4 general going in there. So, we're going to be at... Oh, the guy built another fort, but it's only rank 2. Take that very quickly. Um, going to be taking... Obviously feeding this to Yi. And uh, I want to be... Okay, good. He's at 200 rela relations. He's at 200 relations. So, um... Put a guy here. Gonna be begin integrating really hardcore, guys. Let's try to make this a, a, a fast war and uh, begin integrating really hardcore after this war. I want a 100% Ming here, obviously, needless to say. And he's actually gonna be gone for good, which does feel a little bit weird to say. It's been a long time in the making, this entire game has been. I'm trying to be vigilant on as soon as I hear the uh, missionaries return. That I 
respond by sync pausing immediately so that I don't even waste these these days as they could make the difference. And if I reiterate things like that, guys, just keep in mind that sometimes I take breaks or it's even been days between episodes and it's kind of therapeutic for me. I'm reminding myself, not just you guys. Uh, so what we should do here is we may as well... Oh, we're capped on absolutism anyway, because uh, the cap reduced. And uh, thankfully, although these colonies are important, I just reminded myself. Uh, let's see where we can recall somebody back from. Keep sending them out. Uh, I don't have to go searching for the, the provinces to send our missionaries, is what I was going to say. We can just do that. So a little less tedium goes a long way, in my opinion. Uh, part of the reason I actually did that is because one of my commenters suggested that he's done a bit of uh, calculations and he does not think I'm going to make it to the one faith at the rate that I was going. So that's part of the reason that I'm actually uh, going for the additional subjects here. Really, really trying to push it along, needless to say. We must get the one faith. I mean, I'm definitely putting some real effort in, you, you know, guys. After all this time and work, it would be pretty unfortunate if we did not get there. Okay, his capital has fallen. So this fort will not be soon. Will fall soon afterwards. And uh, let's try to make it so he's uh, ready to go here in, in just a couple months and uh, be pieced out. Let's have a look at the war school cost. Now over extension obviously will reduce as well. Got to keep that in mind as we give some of our provinces up here in the north to Yi. So that is their full annexation and it's under. Fantastic under overextension so it's going to be even less than that obviously very good now how much war score does that cost 59 i do need this fort i was about to say i should just go for his troops you know probably peace out but actually we do need that fort to take this province um one thing i can do here is uh i can actually send in our four pip siege general into there. We're going to maintain our relations with Malakia, and uh, we can get a royal marriage with him, which I'll be willing to do, just not yet. But I want to be making sure our relations, you know, get as high as possible. Oh man, it's going to be pretty stressful, guys, because your subjects get a reduced relations when you, um, you know, integrate another nation. And I'm going to be working on this guy, and uh, perhaps. Depending, I might begin integrating Yi as well before our war with Bachmanis. Obviously, our uh, stability is only at two right now. Um, but I think, you know, we can handle rebels, etc. It's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. This is a big deal, though. We need, we're need we literally waiting on this siege. So, uh-huh. Okay. If it doesn't go this month, we can assault it. The walls have been breached. God dang it. Okay, it's only level 2, so that should be free. There we go. Get wrecked. Alright, here I'm going to into... God dang it, no! I'm so close. I know the damn diplomats. Alright. It's so annoying how long they take to travel around. That's alright. Don't stress... We got this. Now, where is Yi? He's going to convert these provinces up for us. Oh, we can pay off his debt. Very good for relations. And let's not make a mistake now, monk. You guys will have to bear with me. We must be patient to... Make sure we're giving him the right provinces here, I say, as I probably am going to make a mistake. I always make a mistake when I'm talking like that. 
you damn guys, you're distracting me. It's not that hard to just click some buttons. But it is when you're also running your mouth. Here we go. This one ends with I T I Obviously I know how to pronounce all of these names, needless to say. This one is Feng Shang, clearly, because I am I'm cultured. Okay. Did I get it? And it looks like two more. So and will be way down there. And ding. That was a joke, by the way. I don't know how to pronounce literally anything, not even my own language. So there we go. Alrighty. So we he's not overextended. He's not overextended. And uh, we're going to core up the rest. And like I said, I think that is literally the last courage that we may ever do. And that is why I changed my focus. So the rest of our admin points are going to be reserved for boosting stability. But I'm not going to boost it up to 3 at 200 and spend just about everything we have. Because, um, uh, yeah, maybe we can do our paper influence for that. Uh, there shouldn't be another true breaking just yet. We're going to be at peace here. We're going to go in against Buck Manus in 92. Two years, and then I'll truce break him again to finish him off. So I think that there's only two independent nations right now, guys. Which is pretty exciting. Looking for some farmlands. There we go. Very good. Go around hunting these ribbles. I might just put a... Well, I want one stack standing here, but let's put a automatically hunt on him. And puts a uh, general on him to suffer less attrition. Alrighty, let's let time tick along here. And uh, waiting for our guy to return. Which he will before the end of the month. So I'm going to begin integrating here. And yeah, let's get that Diplo reputation. We don't need military points at this stage. In fact... Black Manus is behind us, and this guy is so puny and pathetic. I mean, they're both puny and pathetic, aren't they? We could be, like, way behind in tech and still, still owns and falls. So we can see this is going to cost just about half of our Diplo points uh, at the moment, but we're still gaining three on top of that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, man, guys. It's, I'm really going to be, like, nervous if it comes down to the wire here. We're trying to convert up all of this stuff... Including all of, uh, yeah, China, basically. And uh, unfortunately, Malakia, whatever the f his face is called, uh, he... Oh, let's go help him out. Cannot convert many of these. Now, many of them he can. Thankfully, his missionaries are active. That's really cool to see. And he should be able to convert them as soon as they come down. But yeah, some of them are on like 1802, which is like 11 years away. I think there's one on 1803. The modifier. Uh, yeah. So one more year. It's January 91. We're going in uh, next year on uh, June. In June into Bachmanis. So I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. We're integrating at a good speed here. That's what I want to see. So the one other option. I mean a diplomat is pretty nice. Let's be honest when we're using them all right now. Uh, I reckon, uh, it's hard to say, I reckon we can, we can reserve not grabbing that for now, though. It's all good. Feels really weird not just going back to back to back to war. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, guys. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. This is our subject. Bachmanis, um, I did forget about these colonies. It's probably a good idea if we... They don't have any modifier, do they? In fact, these ones might. Of converting... Oh man, he's stressing me out. Oh, I should or I should I should do those islands. I've got some islands that I took from Bunk Minus oh, ages ago. And uh I should convert those myself. Same as here. I hate island ripples, so when the ripples return. 
Um, alrighty, so Yi has the relations. I'm doing what I can with him, and I've got two diplomats in both of those guys. Granting provinces uh, should help them out with their liberty desire. And we sure are, we're going to grant them all of India, basically. So I think I was wrong, guys. For the sake of tedium, I'm not going to give these to a subject, am I? I'm actually going to core up the odd province. One or two more from Bah Bahmanis here. Yeah, I think literally two more is all that he has. Uh, these islands. And uh, speaking of islands, let's keep spend, uh, using our own colonists. Which is something we have to keep doing. Trying to look out for other non-Catholic islands, but I think... Oh, uh, you know what? I haven't built bloody cathedrals here! Shoot! Okay, I haven't done this one either. God dang it! Build cathedrals! Alright, so you guys can just get back to work. On whatever is fastest. Alrighty, I'm looking for any, like, Sunni or whatever provinces, but I think that's everything. It's an animist one. Yeah, I should do all of these islands myself. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't actually need to delete a building there, Just I just realized because of the temple. But as if that actually matters. No, nope, that looks good. Forgive that, guys. You know, gotta be disciplined, even though it might be boring. So unfortunately, one of those guys is, you know, doing a... It, it took like eight, nine months, where it could be like, you know, seven months or something instead. Uh, small mistake there, but it's kind of too late anyway, because he's already progressed. So I made a small, small mistake, but... Uh, it's un unreversible, really, at this point, so it's unfortunate. But it takes a year for those to finish. Hopefully I will remember before the rebel factions come around again. And let's look for some farmlands to station my troops. Grasslands will do. Pretty exciting, though. I find it pretty exciting. It's been a really long game in the making, dude. And uh, it really stresses me out, guys, when... The thing that stresses me out is putting... Jeopardizing, or potentially jeopardizing, the um, one tag in order to get the one faith when it's looking so bleak and grim and unlikely that I will be able to get the one faith. Uh, that's what's really stressing me out. The other thing... Oh, man. Relations... Like, if we keep integrating these subjects, I'm worried if Malakia is going to just be so much of a hater, he's going to be raging. It's stressing me out, dude. I mean, what else can I do for relations here? Uh, we've got a lot of modifiers, so let's take a look. Negative three for aggressive expansion, negative three for they force vassalized us. That's So we're gaining plus six, rather. We're getting yearly. The subsidies, it's more like ten yearly. And then, so it's about eight yearly. We've defended our provinces. Oh, right, of course. The rebels give relations. Definitely keep that in mind. Keep fighting the rebels for him. We could feed him Da Viet, Da Viet, and uh, uh, continue fighting rebels there, try to get those relations. But it, it makes me want to integrate him first, you know? Like, I can give him a gift. I think that's the one other thing that I can do to him. Uh... I can give him a gift, and I, if I could get him up to 200 relations, I'd want to integrate him ASAP. But the problem is, he, he can really convert a lot, but it's going to take his sweet time, you know? It's such a hard one. <sighs> I've got faith. We've, I mean, that we can get him, but I say that, but I, I don't know. It's probably something that you don't need to have faith on, and that you could probably do an equation on, but I'm doing the kind of... Uh, I'm doing the ostrich with my sand in the head kind of approach that I've kind of already committed. So we're just going to have faith. Now, Bachmanis, I should actually be getting troops. 
ready to make the war as decisive as possible. That's something we should be doing, you dummy. We're ready. Definitely feel like I'm converting at a pretty fast rate, because we are. But of course, we're doing it the easiest first, essentially. So... I really hope I'm not forgetting anything. It's been a good attempt, guys. It's really been a good attempt either way. I enjoyed this game, and uh, we're nearing towards the end of the game for sure. Uh, the last final episode, guys, if we're just waiting for things to integrate, you know, it could and stabilize and convert, etc., could be pretty uneventful. But um, part of the reason that I'm sort of so concerned, even though I, I enjoy this a lot, it's been a success either way. Is because I would like to upload like a sort of the final showcase video to the tubes as uh, believe it or not I find it kind of surprising but uh, that is really my most successful formula of a video is just pretty much like hey guys check out my game uh, those are some of my most viewed videos surprisingly I find it surprising instead of you know some some actual kind of real contribution. Alrighty, gotta keep returning those uh, colonists every now and then as well, recalling them and uh, just going way over. So it is now 92, I think it was June, that we're going in. Try to make it fast. Now, did he have high-level forts? I think he did have high-level forts in the north, which we took off him. And last time we checked, yeah, his forts were not high-level down here in the south. I think his capital was five. We can see that. So, here we go. Now, needless to say, we're going to 100% him. And then I'm going to uh, grant the provinces. Surely, I mean, we can divide it 50-50 what we take. I hope so. It would be awkward if we couldn't. If we took too much with 100. But honestly, I would probably be willing to just hold on to a small amount of overextension. And just give it to them once I have, uh, uh, you know, once they have, rather, uh, finished. Oh, oh, oh. No. Damn it. If we can make it to there before the end of the month, then we get it for free. Let's use four uh, maneuver there. Try to get in before the end of the month. Same goes for this. We had one other four maneuver general. Oh, I can also roll another general, can I? Three maneuver, not bad. Alrighty. This guy's on the way down. Damn, that was a good general as well. Nice, we get there before the end of the month. So that's free. And nice, there we go. Two free sieges. That's going to move this war along real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Now that's my epic siege general. We can send him in and swap this one out. It makes things go real quick. And this guy can run down there. Very nice. I want to use that three siege over here. Uh, swap them out. I'm trying to make the war go really nice and smoothly, guys. Well, quickly, you know? Real quick. And we've got uh, three stability. So we're going to be at zero again, but yeah, we can boost up to two again soon, I suggest. We can boost up to uh, three, um, even if we wanted to just use our our uh, admin. So we might go for the truce break here as well, guys. Oh, jeez, what's going on here? I didn't hear the event. Am I just dumb? Or that might be Ming's troops left over that were walking around. Uh, I didn't hear no rebel spawn in event. 
Maybe I'm just dumb. I think they might have been the the actual rebels. But I don't know there. Might just be a lapse of brain. Okay, so I'm kind of uh, outnumbered here by cr like crazy, but YOLO. Use that epic general. We got a guy coming in from behind. No big deal. Hungarians are ready to go. Feels good converting the uh, Russia up. I mean, this has been orthodox for hundreds of years, you know, when we've been trying to stabilize like Southeast Asia and Madagascar. So much going on back in the day. Uh huh, that's another thing I should consider is where's some of our heavies? There we go. Come over here, actually do something. Hey, a promise changes the Catholic. I think it was a colony, but still. It's good. It's real good. Well, now let's look at 100% here. I mean, honestly, we don't actually have to 100%. That just occurred to me. As long as he's under 100% for our next war, we're good. So, maybe... Oh, hang on. Jeez, look at the war score. What the... It's like, it's going to be bloody close to a full annexation, if not full annexation. It's got the islands, remember, guys? Damn. Damn. It's going to be close. Look at the overextension, though. Yeah, we can't do it. Either way, man, that, that's bloody close. So let's be sensible. Let's get those. That We don't have to call that up. Let's take those, because we do have to call that up. What the hell are those rebels doing there? That's Malacca. Never mind. Calm down, everybody. And, uh, yeah, 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 we can't 100% him, so let's take a reasonable amount that I'm confident could be shared between these two subjects. And, uh, he's worth 63% war score. Um, there, we're gonna take, we're gonna take something like that, and, uh, Something like that. So we should be able to get there pretty quickly if we take his capital out. It's only 55%. So if we can take his capital out and uh, ruin his enthusiasm a little bit. He's got some troops somewhere. I think they just ran on to uh, Ceylon or Sri Lanka. Um, yeah, that's smarter. That's smarter because I'll be less concerned about these guys who are, you know, really newbie and don't have uh, absolutism that if we divide it 50-50, they won't be able to core it. They should be able to core that. It might be... Still, they might have a bit of an issue, but it can't be that bad. We're good, you know? We're all good. And, it, and the other bonus, of course, is it makes the war faster. Alright, so if it's not been a year, it must have been bloody close. Can we do these islands and so on before I forget? Where you at? Yeah, cool. So let's start using our missionaries on those islands, because I don't want to deal with no rebels. The rebel factions. Uh, what happened with... Speaking of rebels, are we good? We're good. We're good. Go to farmlands. Stop attrition, you noobs. And, uh, yeah. How are you doing? Your core and everything? Score in everything but one province. He'll stabilize. No big deal. There it is. That was uh, both wars were pretty good, if I do say so myself. Pretty swift. So, here we go. Back to the tedious stuff, I suppose. What's his name? Gondwana. Hopefully, his liberty desire is good after we do all this st stuff. But I didn't check. Maybe he's got some debt or something. Uh, our prestige is high. I should not let it get high. We should use it, shouldn't we, for, for something. I do have another slot open, by the way, guys. And we're going to have another one yet again when we integrate. But I'm getting really worried that, you know, we cannot annex everybody before the end 
It's Marthwadar. There he is. Peen, poon. Get pooned. Alrighty, uh, let's do some sharing with what's this other dude's name? Jarga. There he is. I got him. Coming down the coast here. Valendu. Oh! Valendu that's very similar to Vindaloo when you're dumb like I am and you think for a moment that it's it's Vindaloo when it's not. They're very similar. I bet I bet Vindaloo curry was made and not really because I'm dumb. Stop talking about it. Okay, keep giving him the stuff. Coromandel. Very nice. Okay, so he's at 84. I actually didn't recall. He's pretty, he's pretty close. I actually didn't recall how uh, overextended is this guy here. Give him that one. Which is A. See, they can't do much. Okay. So a lot of this in the central is, is a fairly low development, you know. But have we given the capital away yet, though? I think that was the capital, wasn't it? No, that was 30. So that's definitely going to this guy in the north. Jeez, I hope they can fit it. It's going to be close. Yeah, that's the guy in the north. Capital is uh, Badar. That's 60. He's good, he's good. Yeah, so make sure to count, keep coming down here. Sweet. I reckon we're good. So I'm going to max this guy out now. And they are happy with us. Very nice. Bastar. 93, that might be all he can afford. Let's try to give him one more. 97, nice. And then we'll give this rest to the other dude if I can find him. There we go. M. So I know it was a little bit uneven, guys, but I'm just thinking, uh, not that it matters. I'm trying to kind of give them, they're both going to be quite slender and, uh, you know, north southy. I'm just trying to make sure this guy isn't just like one line of, of provinces, you know, so he can at least like walk around or whatever, or, or core up provinces that are uh, more inland. Uh, but that was pretty good. That was very fast. So we obviously are going to allow our subjects to... Hang on. We seem to have more core... Ah, uh, that will get handed off, won't it? If we just... There we go. And then we core up what remains which was only two um so we're gonna be able to make sure that we get oh you god dang it okay that's fine we can take that next war there's no fort there um i want to make sure that we're doing everything like subsidies with these guys although it doesn't seem to matter really does it i think we're good i think we're good I think life's good, guys. I think life's good. We're going to make sure that they've caught everything up, which it might take some time. We'll see. Before we truce break, there's no sense in truce breaking now, and that will prevent them from coring. Uh, I'm going to try to pay off their debt, etc. Try to give them the easiest life that we can as a, as a good overlord. Looking for grasslands and stuff for all of our troops. Uh, and we have two wars remaining, which... When does our truce come up here? Yep. In 12 years uh, are both going to be truce breaks most likely I think we it basically cost us monarch points and uh, we can easily afford it so yeah next episode guys it's going to be most likely probably we take out these two guys next episode and then the episode after that is probably just actually going to be letting the game run pausing as soon as a missionary returns and uh, converting stuff up just like this so when a guy returns I want to do these ones before I forget uh, and then that will be the last ones that we manually have to do. Uh, we can just go down the list. Uh, definitely going to be, uh, yeah, not too worried about royal marriages. I won't do it just yet. But absolutism is going to drop by a chunk anyway. And quite frankly, we don't need it at this stage, guys, do we? We don't need our own absolutism because we're not doing much uh, apart from what we've already done. So really enjoying it, guys. It's going to come down to the line uh, I'm going to begin integrating Yi very soon. 
I want him to, you know, he converts really quickly with religious ideas, but he has to call these up, and I need to see the missionaries down with my own eyes, because it will take a couple years, maybe, to integrate him. Uh, and yeah, this is stressing me out, guys, the relations here. We can give him a gift, uh, and there's, there's quite some time, but oh boy, if we can't get him up to 190 and start integrating him before it's too late, that's one thing that's going to come down to the line. Which uh, could kind of ruin our game. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. Look at that. We've almost got a traditional world conquest. As uh, there's very little. There's two independent nations which are not, you know, subjects. And uh, therefore are independent. But we've almost got the traditional world conquest. But of course we're going all the way for the one tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as I place this guy down. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode.